Welcome back to Flock Talk. Today we are going to be teaching our bird how to play the parrot version of ring toss. While this trick is not a particularly complicated one, I would recommend that you have a couple other behaviors under your belt before you get started on this one. Some helpful ones might be target training, some basic bond building, as well as teaching your bird how to fetch, since we are going to be utilizing their fetch knowledge in order to teach them how to properly place the ring over top of a peg. That being said, this is a really fun trick that can be exceptionally quick to teach depending on your skills as a trainer, so let's get started. Kicking it off here, we're just going to make sure that our bird is comfortable interacting with all of the pieces that are going to be used for this trick. So all I'm doing is placing some treats down inside the ring that I'm going to need Newt to be lifting. And I've got the little peg hanging around so that way Newt is getting used to the pieces being there. Nothing's going to be scary and suddenly come out of nowhere. So since Newt is clearly very happy to be grabbing and throwing this thing around and interacting with it, I'm going to go ahead and start actually teaching the behavior since Newt is demonstrating that he is in no way afraid of the loud noises of this ring being tossed around and we can clearly proceed. For the first official step here, you're going to click and reward every single time that your bird touches the actual ring with their beak, picks it up, pushes it around, any sort of interaction with the ring. Gradually, as you're reinforcing them, grabbing it, the bird is going to start experimenting with different things. They're going to pick it up, they're going to move it, and you're going to heavily reinforce when they do those things. What I'm doing next is adding in my hand. This is essentially teaching your bird how to fetch an object, and it's going to help with being able to properly encourage them to move the ring towards the pole. So I'm just going to lay my hand in front of the ring and have Newt gradually kind of toss it, and anytime it moves closer to my hand or lands in my hand, he will get heavily reinforced for doing so, which is going to encourage the idea that I want the ring to be moved towards my hand. Since he is doing that extremely reliably, I'm going to start increasing the height that my hand is at. Since the peg is obviously not level with the ground, I need Newt to start actually picking up the ring so it can be placed on top of things. So I'm just going to gradually lift my hand higher and higher and higher until he's able to lift it high enough where it would be able to go over the peg. Once we've got that down, I'm going to start adding the peg into the actual training here, and I'm just going to sneak it in between my fingers. So when he goes to put it on my hand, he's going to more or less accidentally touch the peg or get it on top of the peg or interact with the peg in some way. We're not aiming for perfection off the hop here. If he happens to just lightly nick it with the ring, that's going to earn him a treat. Over time, he's going to start to realize that what's earning him rewards now is getting the peg to interact with the ring in one way or another. He's going to start experimenting with new ideas. I'm going to help him out a little bit. I might move my hands so that way the ring lands on top of the peg more frequently so that way he can be reinforced and understand what's earning those rewards. I'm going to start sliding this peg further and further behind my hand so it's sticking out more and becomes a little bit more obvious once he's comfortable doing that. What you will also see that I've done here is I've started angling my hand less and less so that way the peg is going to be more and more perpendicular with the floor until it eventually hit the point where it can be laid down flat on the surface. It's important not to start angling your hand flat until the bird is fully understanding that the ring is supposed to go on top of the peg. Otherwise, it's just going to be too difficult, it's going to be too complicated, and the bird's going to start getting frustrated. So it's important just to move very, very slowly at that step and ensure they fully understand what's going on. And that is pretty much it for the behavior. Once you're able to remove your hand from the situation, the bird will be flinging that ring onto the pole and they will have the behavior complete. And that is it for this trick. So it is a very, very simple one, but you could go ahead and make it more complicated by moving the pig around, by adding multiple rings, and just increasing the challenge that way, making your bird have to put multiple different things onto the pig before the behavior is complete, and make it more complex. This behavior is a really fun one that you can use as a lot of parlor tricks or just a great way to add enrichment into your bird's life. It can be a very fun, engaging trick to use in those ways. But that's where I'm personally going to leave this trick for today is just with the one singular ring there. And that is all I feel I'm going to be needing with my birds and that's all I'm going to personally choose to pursue. But that is going to do it for this trick. I hope you guys have as much fun teaching your birds these tricks as I do with mine. If you do decide to teach these to your birds, please feel free to tag me in your pictures and videos over on Instagram. And that is it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!